But back to the subject that I started, at, the topic that I started talking about is you come back here in this moment. Here. You come back here. And if you're here, and you learn how to be here, then your mind settles down. Then you dive into the mind, collapses into the heart. It falls into the heart of awareness. When you're here, you're present. You can examine it. And even if you have a busy mind, there's a lot of thoughts in your head, if you're present and you're attentive to your mind, then thoughts disappear. For example, right now, you can look in there, take a look inside, just be attentive. Simply exercise your natural state. And you're here and you take a look. You look inside your mind, The moment you're aware and you're awake and you're t paying attention, then all of a sudden there is no mind. There is no thoughts. And then once you get in the practice of being here, you don't have to really do anything. You just are attentive. You're looking they call it mindfulness. I mean, mindfulness is just a horrible name for silence. But you are paying attention. Take, take a look. I'm not talking about changing your thoughts. I'm not talking about positive visu visualization, positive thinking. I don't teach that. You know, those of you who've been with me, you know that. I'm talking about those of you who, who, who are new. I don't teach positive visualization. I don't teach positive thinking. Positive thinking, negative thinking, to me, it's the same crap. It's all thinking. I teach no thinking, silence, be quiet, no thoughts. However, these are tools that I'm sharing with you because I suffered from it myself. I've gone, I had a very, very busy mind. I couldn't even be in a relationship with a woman because of my mind. You know, I couldn't even be present because it was so fast, so full, so busy. It was always everywhere. And it took a number of years till I recognized things and then gradually, gradually, gradually throughout the years, the mind became more quiet, more quiet. And then finally there was a moment that I was able, the mind started to turn inwards and my attention went to the Atman and I saw myself. But it took a, num a very long period of time to get to that point. However, I didn't have the training that you have. Nobody really taught me or sat with me or spent a couple of hours with me to teach me what to do. I sat with different masters and teachers. They were speaking, it was general speaking, but it wasn't a one-on-one -on -one coaching that somebody really teaches me how I can go beyond my mind. I had to learn these things on my own and it took 30 years and I suffered in that period of time. There was a lot of suffering happen. Thank God, I'm grateful to the grace of God and I'm not taking this as a personal accomplishment. It was through grace of God that I got to this place and now there could be like five hours a day, four hours a day, three hours, ten hours a day may go by and there's no thoughts. There's nothing. It's absolutely quiet. And then a thought may come after three hours. Oh, it's been very quiet. Now a thought comes. 
all of a sudden you notice you haven't been thinking for a few hours. And then when the mind starts to go in the past, somebody tells you something, somebody triggers you, somebody insults you, and then the mind gets activated and the mind goes, what, what, does, what did he mean by he said this thing? Or what did she mean by what she said? Because I can see it. The mind gets activated and it goes in the past. But immediately it gets identified. Immediately, the moment it goes there, all of a sudden it's like, ah, why am I starting to feel bad? Why, why I feel all of a sudden weird? And immediately I realized that I have gone into a past story or I have gone into a future story because somebody said something and it triggered the mind and the mind is going into this story. So the moment I, the moment I see its ugly head and then phew, you're back here. And the moment you just come back here, Examine it for yourself right now. Here. Check it out. Don't take my word. Look inside right now. Here. Is there anything going on? Is there a story? What's happening to you right now? Here. And if you look. Here. There is nothing going on. There is no thoughts. There is no story. There is nothing here. Here is always fresh. Only when you get out of here, you get into trouble. 